which is basically the casting that we invested in this year. So it's got the reverse arch, it's called the outcast arch. That's a positive thing, especially in this muddy conditions because all the mud usually gets packed up in the back there, which ends up in the seals. So by putting it in the front, we did something a little bit different for the aesthetics reasons of the, uh, the fork and then also for the actual function of them, you know, preventing the mud from getting to the seals easier. Um, other things that we have on the fork, we have a pressure relief valves on the back sides of the fork. So any, any pressure that gets built up inside of the casting itself, you can relieve it instead of putting a zip tie down past the seal and damaging the seal. Um, this one is the SL. So our technology in, in MRP is a ramp control technology. That's kind of where we base our, our technology. We've removed the ramp control technology out of this to lighten it up. And plus, it's a shorter travel fork. Ramp control technology only really uh, affects the ride at the bottom of the heavy stroke. Longer travel. So this is only like a 130 travel fork, so we didn't need the ramp control on this. So we were able to take that out of there and lighten it up. So the fork itself is, is quite light. It's still quite adjustable, but uh, yeah, we've just taken out some of the finer tuning things. Uh, it's got a magnetic cap on the top just oh, yeah, to clean, yeah. clean it up. But uh, yeah, we've uh, brought in a fork that's uh, going to be about 1.9 kilos, so I can't think of that in pounds right now. But, uh, okay, good. So 1.9 kilo and uh, um, just a really good trail for it. Trips to AT complete fade that's launched today at Corbeck. So it takes on our existing frame sets, uh, but we've now added a Columbus fork with a switchable axle. So you can go from 47 to 52 rake on that. Yeah. You've got Kinesis wheel set, you've got Apex and a rival drivetrain with a rich finishing kit. Uh, and the unique fade colour scheme. So we're hopeful that we can build on the success of the previous AT frame sets and turn that into complete bike sales throughout 2019. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, Claire, what can you run? Uh, mid 40s on that one. 40s, okay. yeah, yeah, mid 40s. Yeah. Uh, it comes with the tubeless tyres as well, so you're ready to go on that. Uh, racks and guards, as always, with the Kinesis frames. Um, and gravel bike of the year, so again, you've got the confidence and the, the knowledge that you yeah. ride well. ECR, other than the delightful Norwegian cheese brown, it's now got uh, NX Eagle as its group set. So we've done away with front derailleur on the adventure bike. What's going on? <laughs> Definitely in 2019. Um, so plus 29 or plus 27 and a half. Uh, got a Maloko bar on there, super comfortable, nice and st like steel handlebar as well, which is quite uncommon these days. Um, and then moving on to this absolute weapon, the pack rack. So they've tweaked the geometry so you don't get that noobly feeling if you like, front load it. Um, as you can see, you can put whatever you desire on it, mainly pizzas, but that's personal preference. Um, I've gone for a like, nice retro spec on this, so you've got some silver silver spokes. Yeah, ten, yeah, pretty unusual, times. yeah. I know, it's unbelievable. Love it though. So, but yeah, these, these are landed uh, very recently, like just uh, beginning of this year, so um, yeah. What more do you need to know? <laughs> Brand new just launched uh, from us. This is a 27 and a half plus yep. or 29 frame. It's a little bit less race orientated than the old P29. Um, so it's a little bit much more of a proper trail bike now. Yeah. Um, designed with a dropper. Basically you can dress it to make it a little bit more rowdy. Or dress it a little bit lighter so you can still have something that's still quite light and whippy in the trees. But just basically one bike designed to do everything. Keeps yeah. life really simple. You can make it lightweight or a bruiser, whatever you want to do with it. You'll dress it up with fancy kit, dress it down with anything. You can stick a rigid fork on it. You could turn it into a bike packing rig for a proper expedition thing. Do anything you want to do. It's a great machine.
So this year we got our new downhill and single crown fork, which is the Onyx. Um, so this fork is um, been a little bit in the making from DVO. So before we had the upside down fork, which is a fantastically gorgeous fork, but not really a prime racing product. Uh, so this year, whole new platform uh, based on 36 mil stanchions. Uh, reworked cartridges as well. So we've got a, um, all shim dampers, so shimmed rebound, shimmed compression, high and low speed. Um, and we're also using a, an air token system as well. So this fork is, is one of the first forks we can actually put air volume spaces in. Around the back, you can't really see it, but we've got air release valves. So sort of a, um, a feature you see on high-end racing forks. Um, single crown little brother, so up to 180 mil travel on this one. Same size stanchion, got the air release valves on it. But it does differ, we have a 50 mil through axle more kind of enduro style than the 20 mil bolt up for the downhill. Um, the other new fork this year is the Sapphire. So the Sapphire was a 32 mil kind of cross country fork, more trail fork. This year we've gone to a 34 mil platform. So we've got all the features you see in the diamond and the onyx. So we've got the off the top setting at the bottom, which um, mechanically adjusts your negative spring. Quick change, low speed compression. Uh, compression adjuster so on the, on the fly you can uh, increase your damping um, it's also got a high speed as well high speed adjustment of compression and rebound up to 150 mil travel so this is kind of really is our, our trail bike type platform um, if I can squeeze you over this side sorry guys um, the Topaz and the Jade uh, shop range has expanded so now we can offer trunnion models as well so we've got trunnion on the Jade we can do custom sizing on this shock as well, so we can make it fit the Sentinel, for example. Um, Trunning on the Topaz, and then we've also got a giant specific Topaz. Um, so you notice the packaging is a little bit different on this shock, so the, the reservoir is rotated 90 degrees. It's purely for frame space. So, you know, enduro bikes are kind of getting a little bit more tighter in packaging. People are a little bit wary about the, the reservoir hitting the frame. So actually by flipping the, the reservoir actually we create a little bit more space. So that, that's the only reason for that, that's, that's the only technical reason for that. This one also has um, a Maestro, giant Maestro specific tune. So we've got lots of options, lots of new stuff. Um, and also while the transition bike's here as well, we've also got reduced offsets. So now we can do 37 mil offset for 27.5 and 44 mil offset for 29. So we got the whole package now. equipment distributors for uh, bomb track in the UK um, just to give you guys a quick overview about the uh, the brand kind of where it's come from um, basically it's a it's a spin-off brand from a BMX brand called we the people um, based in, in Germany in Cologne we've been going for about six years now and have kind of um, used their their kind of like steel frame heritage from the BMX days to make a, a pretty compelling uh, range of bikes predominantly steel but nowadays kind of more um, carbon and some alloy frames in there as well um, but definitely with a kind of like this whole kind of like no attitude just ride kind of um, uh, aspect to it so effectively they're not kind of bikes to, to, to be necessarily raced they're just meant to be versatile um, appeal to everyone sort of thing so the range kind of goes from uh, single speed cross bikes all the way up to you know kind of like full um, off the peg bike packing bikes we've got the 29 plus um, beyond plus ADV here and then anything in between so just to give you a quick overview you've got things like the Audax which is kind of like your long distance endurance road bike so um, runs on the, the kind of like the road plus uh, concept 650B wheels with 47C tyres um, so that's kind of like your, your road bike which if you wanted to you could take off-road as well with some kind of light gravel on it light touring um, you've got the Hooky XT at the back here, which is a uh, steel frame bike, full carbon fork. Um, that's kind of like your, but you kind of like your versatile gravel bike. So um, it's got true kind of gravel geometry, um, pretty low bottom bracket. Uh, but again, road plus 
if you wanted to, you can switch that out to 700C. Um, kind of like you kind of go anywhere bike. But it's got all the cage mounts on it as well, so you can turn it into a full-blown kind of bike packing rig. Um, then at the top end of the scale, you've got a carbon version of the same bike. Um, so much the same as the Hooky XT in steel, but just lighter weight. Uh, and it'll kind of just really go to distance. So if you wanted to race something like the Dirty Reaver, um, that'll be that'll be the bike for the job, really. Cool. Thanks for watching. Catch all the details of the last video below, and we'll see you next Friday, 5 p.m.